What's up everyone? This is Woken Red Pill here once again with a brand new video. And guess what? As you can see here from what the title says, 21 year old woman with no underlying health condition dies of the coronavirus. This was just posted today at 10:53 a.m. okay don't mean to go into detail there <laughs> but anyways please subscribe follow the channel like the video share the video let me know what your thoughts are those of you who is new to this i welcome you old as well who's been following me for quite some time i welcome you all back to a brand new video i just had to cover this up really quick because i was just at dollar general getting some stuff i got some vitamins some vitamin c candy and a lot of people forget that all you have to do is take care of your immunity, your immune system, be at perfect health. But they forgot to put in the details that your immune system is the main thing that you need in order to be built and to fight off viruses, uh, diseases, things of that nature and sicknesses. OK, and um I also just seen a video from Solo TV 84, which is the crazy thing I have to mention. I was I just made a video uh, earlier this morning talking about the rates of depression and suicide uh, racking high, and it's because of the social isolation has caused people to panic, go crazy, and feel the need that hey, I'm in an isolated state right now, and uh, I need to get out of here. And uh, shout out goes to um, Solo TV 84. Uh, great video. Please check out the brother. He made a recent video about a girl that just passed away and committed suicide, tried doing that, end up dying. Rest in peace to the girl. Um, yeah, 21 year old woman with no underlying health conditions dies of the coronavirus. And people say that, oh, if you're old and you already have a lot of health conditions, yes, you're more vulnerable. Yes, you're more likely to catch the coronavirus from another one, another individual that has the coronavirus. But cases like this, to let people know that this is a red alarm or a big alarming rate, a red flag as well to let you think that, look, I have to take something like this seriously. A lot of people are keep joking about it. People are making jokes about it. People are saying uh, messed up things and not caring about it. And they think it's just another day until something happens. A 21 year old woman has reportedly died of the coronavirus in the UK and is believed to be the youngest person in the country with no underlying health conditions, no symptoms, nothing. Okay, even if she was a druggie or anything like that, I believe the news reports would be covering this, but at the same time, you could be 100% in health, but if your immunity is not up to state or it's not up there, whatever the case may be, you could die from the coronavirus. The family of Buckinghamshire resident Chloe Middleton posted the grim news Tuesday on Facebook, according to the local media. To all the people out there that think it's just a virus, please think again. Speaking from a per from a personal experience, this is so-called virus has taken the life of my 21-year-old daughter, Middleton's mom, Diane Middleton, wrote. Okay, Chloe's aunt Emily Mystery also posted about the young girl's COVID-19 related death on Facebook and noted that her beautiful and kind-hearted niece had no underlying health issues. Metro UK reported, "My loved ones are going through the same, going through the most." unimaginable pain we are shadowed beyond belief mystery wrote this is crazy and a lot of people needs to be aware that even look the uk's youngest victim is an 18 year old with significantly significant underlying health issues who died in Coventry, west midlands after contracting the covid 19 but the virus was not said to be his direct cause of death. This is another case of an 18 year old, okay? So even though he was in bad health, this girl here died at 21 with no health symptoms at all. Like no underlying health conditions that could have been easily to blame from the cause of her death, but she died 
still from the virus as well. And a lot of people seems to think, oh, this is a controversy topic, which it is. A lot of people in the news press and people are talking about this every day, but a lot of people chooses to ignore that. Look, this fact right here shows you even in the UK, people are thinking, well, it could be their food. It could be something that they eat. Whatever the case may be, it could happen to people here in the U.S. I just got came from Dollar General. I got a couple of vitamin pills, you know, just for men, uh, uh, hair gel. <laughs> you know, I'm just playing around with that comment. But seriously, people just got to build up their immune system. Drink orange juice. Get a lot of vitamin B, vitamin C. Get a lot of vitamins and minerals in your blood system because stuff like this, should let people know to also take care of their bodies because I went in the store shelves, right? And there's literally, literally a, 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 um, a stock full of vitamins for both men and women that no one is bother, bothering to even grab or even take. I'm surprised those are not even out of stock. So I ended up buying uh, one of the men uh, vitamin pills and I got a lot, like about a hundred caps. I got about a hundred caps in the bottle. And this could last me for a long time. Build up your immune system. And I've always been taking care of my immune system for a long, long, long time. A lot of people forget the fact that the media isn't covering things like this, like just being in perfect health. No, a lot of people doesn't want to hear that. It's like they're trying to distract people to, to be worried and uh, they forget to the fact that, hey, I got to take care of my immunity. My immunity is more important to be able to fight the virus as well. Because a lot of people that are not in good health, now all of a sudden they realize that it's not just about, buy, it's not about just buying toilet paper, hand sanitizers, disinfectant wipes, uh, bleach. Sorry about the, care, the, 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 uh, the crows, I apologize. It's not just about buying hand sanitizers, soap, bleach, washing your hands. You also got to take care of your, your immunity, your health, vitamin B pills, vitamin B12 pills, all these vitamin C stuff, the things that we consume that's actually helpful and a lot of people are are making excuses like oh i'm too lazy to get it or they choose to be ignorant and feel like that's not going to help them it's more to that washing your hands yes it can help but in in all real terms you want to make sure that even physically on the outside your body is untouched you want to make sure in the inside of your body, where immune system, it takes place with your heart, your lungs, you wanna make sure everything is in check and everything is in order as well. You're not only wanting to just uh, protect and clean your outside, you wanna clean the inside of, of your body as well. Drink a lot of water, drink a lot of orange juice, drink a lot of, um, of uh, things that's gonna actually benefit your health in the long run because things like this can happen. It can happen to you, your niece, anybody that you know. A 21-year-old woman just recently passed away and she had no underlying health conditions. She had no symptoms at all to show that she had the coronavirus, but she died. And this was just posted today. This is crazy. A lot of people can't be taking life for granted for this case because it could happen to you, God forbid. I'm always praying. And people even told me, that um that look if i'm gonna work in a retail and i'm working in a, in a cash register and i'm taking care of 100 customers per day i'm gonna quit and there was a lady just now when i was in dollar general she even told me that she's quitting tomorrow and her boss actually told her no her boss actually asked her if she could stay if she's willing to stay that they'll give her a 300 dollar bonus if she could stay and she said no she declined your m money is not worth anyone's life to be put on the line and essential workers unfortunately has to be going to work still and i understand people has families and things to take care of but cases like this gotta wake people up this is woken red pill here peace out let me know what you think